Ironing out the details, mastering English phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase that you might come across in both personal and professional settings. We're going to iron out the details. This idiom is widely used in English-speaking countries and understanding it can greatly improve your conversational skills. So, let's get started and explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The phrase, iron out the details, is an idiom that means to resolve difficulties or clear up minor issues in a plan or project. Imagine using an iron to smooth out wrinkles on a shirt. Similarly, when you iron out the details, you're smoothing out the small problems or misunderstandings that might be preventing a plan from moving forward smoothly. Understanding the origin of idioms can often help us grasp their meanings more intuitively. The phrase, iron out, dates back to when irons were used to smooth out the wrinkles in clothes. This action of making something smooth and flat is metaphorically applied to resolving issues. By knowing this, you can remember that just as ironing makes a piece of clothing neat and ready to wear, ironing out the details makes a plan or project neat and ready to proceed. Now that you know what it means, let's talk about how to use iron out the details in everyday conversations. This phrase is commonly used in business and professional settings, as well as in personal planning. Here are a few examples. Before we launch the product, we need to iron out the details of the marketing plan. We've agreed on the main terms of the contract, but we still need to iron out the details. Our travel plans are almost complete. We just have to iron out the details about accommodation. To master the use of this phrase, try creating your own sentences or scenarios where you might iron out the details. Practice with friends or in your study groups, and don't be afraid to use it in real-life situations. The more you use it, the more natural it will feel. That's all for today's video on how to iron out the details. We hope this explanation clears up any confusion and helps you use this phrase confidently in your conversations. Remember, learning idioms is a great way to make your English sound more natural and fluent. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to practice. See you in our next video, where we'll explore more interesting phrases and idioms.